happens if US and Chinese aircraft carriers clash? In the vast expanses of the world's oceans, a tense standoff between US and Chinese aircraft carriers could become a defining moment of 21st century geopolitics. This confrontation would not merely represent a military exercise or routine patrol but a symbolic showdown between two competing visions of global power. With fleets of advanced fighter jets and thousands of elite naval personnel on board these floating fortresses, the stakes of such a face-off are immense. Would it end with a cautious gaze through the crosshairs or escalate into a conflict of global proportions? Today's oceans have become theaters of renewed rivalries, reminiscent of Cold War tensions but with far higher stakes. Nowhere is this more evident than in the South China Sea, where China's assertive territorial claims have raised alarm. A single movement, a radio communication, or the launch of a single aircraft could tip the balance in this volatile region. If US and Chinese aircraft carriers were to confront one another, it would evoke the image of two kings of the battlefield meeting in a high-stakes chess game, where each move could have fatal consequences. The American carriers are symbols of unmatched military power, while China's carriers represent its growing ambitions as an emergent superpower. As the world watches with bated breath, the fragile balance of power in the region hangs by a thread. The question looms would this encounter serve as a prelude to war or an opportunity for dialogue? When US and Chinese carriers meet, it is far more than a clash of two ships. These vessels embody the technological, industrial, and strategic might of their respective nations. The USS Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers represent the pinnacle of naval engineering, with a displacement exceeding 100,000 tons in cutting-edge systems such as electromagnetic launch catapults. These carriers can deploy up to 90 advanced aircraft, including stealth-capable F-35s which are equipped for precise strikes and air superiority even in heavily contested environments. In contrast, China's Fujian aircraft carrier, though smaller at around 85,000 tons, symbolizes the rapid technological progress of the nation. It can carry approximately 40 aircraft, including the J-15 fighter jets and potentially the next-generation J-35 stealth fighters. Despite this, operational challenges persist for China, including reduced performance of the J-15 in the high-temperature, high-humidity environments of the South China Sea and limited operational experience with electromagnetic catapults aircraft carrier strike groups of force beyond individual ships. Aircraft carriers never operate alone. They serve as the centerpiece of powerful carrier strike groups, which integrate diverse vessels into a cohesive combat system. U.S. carrier strike groups are highly advanced, featuring Ticonderoga-class cruisers equipped with Aegis combat systems and Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, which form a multi-layered defensive shield against missile threats. Beneath the waves, nuclear-powered submarines like the Virginia class provide silent but deadly deterrence. China's carrier strike groups, though rapidly advancing, still lag in certain areas. Modern Type 052D and Type 055 destroyers, along with Type 054 frigates, provide strong defensive capabilities, while attack submarines bolster underwater security. However, gaps remain in the integration and reliability of these systems compared to their U.S. counterparts. If U.S. and Chinese carrier strike groups were to encounter each other in the same operational theater, the world would hold its breath. Every decision, communication, and maneuver would carry enormous weight, potentially shaping the outcome of this historical confrontation. Both sides would likely engage in calculated displays of strength, seeking to assert dominance without escalating tensions. U.S. carriers might deploy F-35s to fly near Chinese defenses, reinforcing the principle of freedom of navigation. In response, Chinese forces could scramble J-15s and move their escorts into forward positions to signal readiness. These carefully choreographed maneuvers would aim to deter aggression while avoiding direct conflict. Long before any physical clash, both nations would engage in intense electronic warfare. Advanced U.S. reconnaissance drones and satellites would track Chinese movements while cutting-edge radar systems analyze enemy signals. Meanwhile, China would likely deploy sophisticated electronic jamming techniques targeting us systems to disrupt communications and precision weaponry. This invisible battle of signals would determine tactical advantages in any potential engagement. Increased proximity raises the risk of accidents or miscalculations. Fighter jets could come dangerously close during reconnaissance missions, and a single mistake whether a misjudgment by a pilot or a misinterpreted maneuver might trigger an unintended escalation. On the surface, destroyers shadowing each other at close range could inadvertently cross into hostile territory, igniting a chain reaction of aggressive responses. If an incident spirals out of control such as a collision or the downing of an aircraft, it could provoke retaliation. 
a limited exchange of fire might escalate rapidly into a full-scale conflict with both sides deploying their full naval and air capabilities. In such a scenario, China could use land-based missile systems in a counter-intervention strategy to restrict U.S. operations, while the U.S. might rely on its overwhelming technological edge to dominate. Despite the dangers, there remains hope for a peaceful resolution. Recognizing the catastrophic consequences of a conflict both nations could pursue de-escalation, the U.S. might withdraw its carrier group to a safer distance, while China limits its military operations to defined zones. High-level diplomatic talks could establish protocols for avoiding similar crises in the future, transforming a moment of tension into a lesson in crisis management. The encounter between U.S. and Chinese aircraft carriers is not just a hypothetical scenario but a reflection of the complex dynamics shaping modern geopolitics. Whether such a standoff results in conflict or dialogue depends on the decisions of military commanders, political leaders, and even chance. The stakes are enormous, with implications for regional stability and global peace. Only through careful diplomacy and mutual restraint can the world avoid the catastrophic consequences of a clash between these maritime titans.